Around middle school, I became obsessed with black and white photography. May have had something to do with a beautiful upperclassman from New Richmond, Mexico City. My dad had in storage a darkroom setup, and this enlarger was in there. More than 20 years later, this is the darkroom enlarger sitting in my garage, having collected many, many layers of dust and, uh, frankly, uh, maybe some m mouse urine. I cannot think of another technology that is so obsolete. The images that I took of Mexico in black and white were very gray. The process unfolds so slowly that it's difficult to understand how to improve without many, many repetitions. And, you know, I was in middle school. Th there were other things. And so the darkroom laid dormant for another 10, 15 years until I could finally afford to have a home with a basement. You know what I'm saying? And again, I, I pursued the photography and the artfulness, and it was so elusive. Another gray batch of photos. In part, I think, I think, because the chemicals themselves were old. But I digress. In the present day, this enlarger has a base made out of particle board that is degraded over time. I mentioned like the, the mouse urine. There's general dirt and disarray. The vinyl cord on that cable has seen better days. So I feel it's my responsibility to rehab this to the best of my ability. I have to figure that somewhere out there, there is a, a middle schooler or maybe an adult who is obsessed with this process. So I'm planing down some walnut wood, trying to get to the width of that base. Here you can see that it's just shy of that original width, so I'm going to deal with it. All right, now starting some disassembly. You can see that this is just a particle board. And some sanding of the base. Using the original as a template. picking out some new hardware. Refining the edge with a quarter round. Final sanding to 120 at least. These holes are on the back side of the platform recess for the bolts and a washer that will go on the underside. Beeswax orange oil brings out that unbelievable luster and richness of the walnut. Now I think I can improve the base with some cutting board feet. It's a nice soft rubber compound with stainless steel screws at five points along the perimeter there. Now here's the enlarger lens. I'm gonna remove that. 
uh, the red filter, the bellows. Doing some basic cleanup, dusting of the support rod and base. All the gizmosity here, doing some uh, needle oiling of the component parts. The springs doing some just WD-40 to displace any water that I've put on there. I'm going to wire wheel this identifying uh, cap to the support shaft. Tower model 6578, which on eBay, you know, you'll find like maybe a, a couple options and they're not cheap. Using steel wool to remove packing tape residue. And I'm going to replace the old vinyl cable and polish this bell also with steel wool. And I'm adding some stainless steel cap nuts just to kind of beautify it a little bit. And so here it is, it's cleaned up. The mechanisms all work fairly well. You can see there's some paint surface is, is all chipped and you know I could redo that in a second phase of this video. I found an old negative in a, in a storage box in the basement and it, I couldn't identify who was on here, where it came from. What I found out was that these were negatives from my wife's trip to Spain in high school. You can see with the negative filter. And this is a very like low resolution version uh, because I'm simply taking a video of the enlarged image on a piece of white cardstock. Hope you enjoyed this short video of a dark room and larger rehab. Sometimes what today seems obsolete comes back around in some way, shape, or form. For now, I'm going to appreciate the work that I've done. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.